Okay. Next one. Hey guys, I work for a SaaS company, so service software as a service company that has a website builder component. Part of the feature is white labels so people can point their custom domains to our domain via CNAME. Our domain has lots of links, but do we get any SEO credit for those using white label pointing at our domain? If not, is there a way to get credit to our root domain? Um, yeah, I mean, it, you know, that's a good question. I really don't know the answer to. If they're doing a C name, you know, I could test that. I know I could test it to find out, and I've not tested that. And the reason I know I could, I don't have an answer for you today. I don't know, but I could find out for sure. Um, because cloud hosted pages on custom domains are C names. Adam, do you know the answer to this? No, this is a super interesting question. <laughs> you were like, I don't know. Just like, yeah, I haven't ever thought about this. Yeah. And I know I could test it because I could I could confirm whether it does or not because the way that we host HTML pages on custom on custom do on domains that we go out and scrape and find so for you know semantic links essentially what I call rebuilds there are cloud hosted HTML sites on Amazon S3 Rackspace Linode uh, DigitalOcean um, Volter uh, you know all those kind of like cloud storage hosts. And for Rackspace and Amazon S3, we get a C name. It's like this long string of random characters and stuff. And that's what we get. We, and so we point our domain to those C name records. And that's actually what causes the site to uh, resolve at the domain level. So whatever metrics that we buy from when we purchase the domain, we're purchasing metrics. We're purchasing you know, the metrics that I look at are trust flow and citation, majestic metrics. And I really don't even care about those two metrics. What I care about is topical trust flow. Um, and those kind of, th those metrics is what we're kind of purchasing, the relevance, the existing backlink profile, the former content, like all that we're buying relevance is what we're doing. But the metrics are when we point the domain through CNAME, to the long string of like the C name record that we get from Amazon S3 or from Rackspace. Um, I can go, I can still go view that website on the C name, like URL, if that makes sense. I don't have to go to the domain. I can go, I can actually view that site. So I could view that and look at the metrics and see if the, um, any of those metrics pass to that kind of, you know, long, like cloud storage domain, essentially. And if may, so, then yeah, it passes. If not, then no, it doesn't. Go ahead. I may be oversimplifying this too, because I think we, we kind of attack this from a different direction, but shouldn't this just be like, if this is a website builder, I'm just using ClickFunnels as an example. When you build out something on ClickFunnels site, it's, you know, whatever your plan name is, like, uh, you know, semanticmastery.clickfunnels.app. Whatever. Mm -hmm. So if that's the case, then it should be a subdomain and then subdomains are treated as totally separate domains, right? So yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. So in the end, I mean, there's still kind of an interesting question, but I think the root question, pun semi intended, is that if we're setting this up and you're redirecting a subdomain, does that do anything? Does it carry anything from the root domain? And I would think the answer should be no, correct? Yeah, I, and I yeah, like I said, I I don't know on this one. I could find out though because yeah. uh, as you said, like we could look at. Um, like, for example, I've got a few high level sites now built websites built in high level and their C name records like or it can be an A record, but um, you can also do C name records. So I could look at those, too, and see see the same thing. So I don't have an answer for you today, but I could find out. In fact, I'm just going to make a note of that. Um, cool. Who is excited self? <laughs> awesome. Good question. Pass. Question mark. I just made a little note to myself. I, I can check that and find out. And um, if you want to come back next week and ask, I should have an answer for you. That's a good question. I don't know. Interesting. All right, next one. So I got stumped today, but that's a good one that I know I can I can find the answer to with just a couple of tests. 